Okay, folks, I gotta, I'm gonna do another Pelican uh, recap of the collection. I think some people were confused um, because I've done the Pelican, uh, what's in the Pelican video in the past, and this was the Pelican. The Pelican that I posted yesterday was the bigger Pelican, and I think some people got confused. They thought that uh, I've gotten rid of knives. I haven't. I rarely, rarely get rid of my knives. Rarely. I think I can count on my one hand, you know, and not even all the fingers, how many knives I've sold or traded uh, in the past. But, um, yeah, so just for clarification, I'm going to do this Pelican. This one's the 1300. Uh, this one has the Now Pack, which I've done a review on before. This has the blue Now Pack. That, uh, I have. But I think some of the knives have changed uh, since I did the last review. And they do. It's a rotation. Uh, there definitely is a rotation. So I think pretty much everything in here, everything in here are, I was going to say grail. I don't know if they're all grail, but they're grail to me. Um, and there is no production knives in here. I don't believe. I don't believe. I think these are all custom. Maybe not necessarily custom to me, but they were custom made for somebody. Or they were custom made by the... Maybe not to my specs, but they're still custom made by the maker. And I was lucky enough to get them. So let's start off with the, the one that stands out the most. This is one of my grail knives. This is the... Beg, Todd Beg Bodega. I got this a million years ago from New York Custom Knife Show. Um, Mark was there, Mattia was there, and that's when I got this amazing Bodega. I actually got called twice, and you know the story if you're a fan of the channel. I actually got called twice for the Bodega lottery, so I had the opportunity to actually own two bodegas one this one and another one with I, I believe it was carbon fiber and at the time i believe they were 950 from mark at the table i don't know what they go for now but i you know wanted to get both i didn't have mo i didn't bring enough money to bring both i guess i could have borrowed some money from like actually when i got this i don't even think i knew the bandit i think it was just me and menevade so yeah <clears throat> bag bodega of course this is uh one of the og ones now they've done the whole bunch of like riot versions and and uh, the bag versions but this one is one of my ultimate ultimate grails <clears throat> uh some of this i've done before and you've seen it uh, like these are the ferronauts Big fan, of, big fan of Chris Goodwin knives. These are my Farinots. You've seen this before. A little controversy with my buddy. I think Chris has since stopped making knives, but doesn't make it any less grail status in my eyes. You know, there's, there's a lot of people that got butt hurt over what Chris did. If you guys don't know, Chris had like a secret Instagram page. I don't even remember the onion. Was it the onion knife? I don't even remember what it was, but he's basically making fun of people in the knife community, including the wieners. You know, I, I, granted, he wasn't so bad what he said about us, but it was still hilarious. And I followed it. I thought it was hilarious. And I think the reason that Chris got caught up or got busted was he commented on the onion page. I think that's what it was. I'm not even sure. Like he was... Um, he commented, I think, I forget. He got mixed up with the two accounts. Like, I run Wieners and Steel and Terror Fanatic. So every now and then, I forget which account I'm on. So sometimes I like a comment or respond to a comment on Wieners as Terror Fanatic. But I think most people know I run both accounts. Me and Fast Bandit and Menevade really run the Wieners. We all have the password for the Wieners account. But for the most part, it's me that runs the... Wieners and steel. Guy. Look how cute. Tiny little baby knot, beeb knot. Look how tiny that is. That is awesome. This is the last knife I got from Chris Goodwin. After this, I think pretty much he's just, look at the sad. He pretty much just stopped making knives. But, uh, yeah. Look at that. Perfectly, perfectly centered. It's gorgeous. Let me show you this one. Oh, there it is. 
The Imp. The Imp from uh, NCC Knives, my good buddy. My good buddy, Nick. Look at that. That's cute. Did you guys get one of these? I think I think I think the ones he's making now are with a pocket clip, so. Oh Christmas. What who makes this one? But this one's got the hidden slide release on the carbon fiber scales. And there it is. Matt Diskin. Diskin Fire. The Diskin Fire. It took me a second, but I got it. This Again, if you're a fan of the channel, this belonged to Menevade. He lost this in one winter storm, and he actually found it later when the snow melted, and he sold it to me. I don't know. I think he needed the money to make stubs. But this one can be deployed by the slide lock, the scale release, or you can flick it out with the um, thumb stud, and that... Just basically, people are uh, debate that this is a uh, liner lock, technically, I guess, but it's really a frame lock. Look at the size of that titanium. So you can unlock it like a traditional frame lock, and there's no pushback. But when you deploy it with the slide, the scale slide release, right, it fires out really strong. And then when you unlock it, yeah, you got to unlock it here. And when you push down, it gives a little resistance, right? Because it's a, now it's an auto. This can fire. Show you guys one more time. That is badass. Uh, and these on the bottom are my Calavera Cutlery, Jeremy Robertson. Robertson. This is the Tonto. This one's custom ordered. By me from Jeremy. Another gentleman that made grail knives. And I think, again, these are all my humble opinions. And he no longer makes them. So this one is a um a thumb hole. Although I'm I'm a little out of practice. There you go. Or you can do a um like a front flipper. Let's see if I can do it. There we go. Nice. This is also a El Patron. Both are El Patrons. Yeah, I don't know what happened to Jeremy. He just doesn't make any knives anymore. Of course, you guys have seen this. My awesome Grail knife from Brad Blunt. JBB knives. The amazing Arrester. I believe this was number seven, according to Brad. Of course, like a couple of years ago, I got the opportunity to buy this predator so somebody owned this this is actually a prototype that be done owned be done sold it to somebody i don't know how many hands it passed through but somebody had it and they were didn't, didn't want it anymore or maybe it was too old school for them i got this for like a ridiculous price so i think me and the bandit both have predators lee has another brad blunt early model i forget which one but i think me and the bandit both have predators brad hand carved all the scales on the on the knives so each one is unique because i forget how he did it i, th I think he says he ran his drill press over it and he just slid it back by hand no cnc this is all handmade by the man how many of you guys can say that about your custom knives Right in this world of CNC, so me and the bandit, I'd like to see the bandits and compare it just to see how the scale is different because it's each scale is definitely unique. So definitely a grail for me. This will never leave my collection. And Brad is just a knife engineer. Oh, my Augustus from another awesome friend and maker. Kirby Lambert with some awesome I don't know if it's Chad Nichols but look at that Damascus that is gorgeous Grail so this is my first custom order from Kirby so basically um, I could have got anything and I asked for this. This was the Augustus model. The Bandit has every, well, I shouldn't say every Kirby Lambert knife, but I don't believe he has an Augustus yet. 
yet, yet, yet. But it's pretty awesome. Pretty, pretty. So it's not asymmetrical, it's symmetrical. I mean, the grinds, talking about the grinds, right? So both multi grinds on both sides. I'll show you one that's asymmetrical that I got in the secondary from my good friend, John Brown, Scoopy Loops. Um, so you can see the grind is different on one side. And similar compound, complex grind on this side. So this is similar to the Augustus. And then it's got, isn't that cool? Even the swedge is slightly different. Say what, Mike? What did you just say? Yeah, look at the swedge. Come on, focus. Look at the swedge here. Oh, look at the swedge here. Look at that. Look at that. Grill. Thank you, John Brown Scoopulous. John let this go to me at a super friend price. So uh, RJ Martin. Um this is this is grail for sure, folks. This is just an amazing, amazing f folder, flipper, not an automatic. And it is a line of lock, but look at the thickness of that titanium. Now you can tell it's old school, but because look at the bolster, right? Look at all the hardware on the bolster, right? So the pivot's in there somewhere, right? It's barely discernible, but you can see there's a, this titanium on top is on top of this one. Can you see it? You can see it, right? You can see it, but my God, look at that thing. That is incredible. Because the pivot's in there and it's underneath this bolster. I'm gonna try, try screw, right? Old school carbon fiber contouring. Look at the swell. Look at that. Look at the swell on that. It's gorgeous. This is my Kingfisher variant from JP Knives. Is it JP Knives? JRP? Jared Price. Jared Price, so JP Knives. I won this, <clears throat> I forget if it was a Facebook lotto or first come first serve. Grail, grail, the man is so humble, so cool. I have another Jared Price knife, is he? Oh yeah, it is here. Um, yeah, so I got this off of Facebook, off his Facebook group, I'm pretty sure. I don't think it was, I don't think it was Instagram. And then I got this Swift, which is also Jared Price. From the secondary, again, I don't know what it was. I got this for, I, I won't disclose the price, but I believe Jared said this was 1200 or so from him, if memory serves. Uh, and I got it way, way under that. So I don't know what happened. I don't know why the guy wanted to re release it for such a low price because it's perfect. The knife is perfect. It functions perfect. No wiggle, no play. You can see the lockup is early, layered Damascus steel. Uh, this is the one actually that, if you guys remember, that Nick Chuprin reblasted for me and refinished the handles because this had like a kind of like a Sabenza finish. And I guess that's why the person I bought it from uh, let it go for so cheap because it was a little bit, you know, I had a lot of snail trail on it. But, you know, I got a good buddy that can just, you know, spot any knife I want. And he did. And it's cool. Zerk. Backspacer. So, yeah, I get pretty lucky with the pickup of knives in the secondary. I, I, I got to tell you. Uh, oh, my Buckeye from Christensen Knife Works. <laughs> he actually messaged me. Uh, I mean, not messaged me. He commented on the video yesterday and he says you got rid of your buckeye or something like that i said no man i would never get rid of my buckeye i love this buckeye so i got this from matt christensen at the show he brought it at the show to sell it wasn't for me and i bought this at the pit from matt so it had a i believe it had a 
Zerk. Was it a Zerk? I don't remember now. I don't know if it was a Zerk pocket clip or he had some other kind of pocket clip. I forget. I forget. But Matt hooked me up with this clip. And I actually had to send it back to Matt because I'm a spaz. I couldn't take out the old clip and put this clip. So I just sent it back to him and he took care of it. And he put this beautiful Timascus gorgeous clip on it. I believe it was Zerk. It must have been like a Zerk pocket clip because, you know, it's got a Zerk gear pattern backspacer. But yeah, this is Matt's Buckeye. And look at that steel. Holy Christmas. Look who it is. Look what made it to the Pelican. My Birch from Triple Art Design. Wow, I haven't touched this in a while. Look at that. That is a grail, folks. If you broke into my house and you had to steal a pelican, it would be this pelican. I would cry. Then I'd put out a all points bulletin on you because you have all of my excellent grail knives. Michael Birch, Triple Art Design. Look at that. I love this knife. I love it. Because they know I'm a fan of Michael Birch. Custom Quayback from Jake Hoback. So this one was a custom order. So the story behind this is my order. Now, I already had a Quayback from Jake because, and I'll show you that in a second if it's here, that I got from the show. But I also had, I was in his books. And then when my order came up, I wanted something that Menevade actually won in the Blade show. And I'm going to show you that, that Quayback right there. So I won this Quayback, and I'll show you in a second. And then Menevade won a Quayback that looked very similar to this. And I liked them both. I like this one better. That's why I picked this one. But when my order came, I said, you know what, Jake? I want this finish. So this one's got like a heat anno on the titanium, if you can see. You can see it's this is hand sharpened by Jake. Minor imperfections. The man made this for me. Look at that. Might have gone a little high over there. But you know what? That means it was handmade. And sharpen. So, I believe it was the first Blade show that I went to with Nick and the first one that I met, the Bandit. And me and Nick were bidding for these Quaybacks on the table. Now, Jake was pretty Instagram famous by then. Not like what he is now, but people were low bidding this knife. Now, this is handmade, folks. This is not CNC'd. This was handmade by Jake Hoback. This is, how many of you guys can say that about your Quayback? This was handmade, hand sharpened, hand ground by the man. I'm not trying to brag. Maybe a little. Don't be jealous. But uh, yeah, you see the satin finish. The bead blast. On... The grooves inside the titanium and then he hand polish, hand satin finish the handles. Look at the old style pocket clip. What? Custom pivot. Yes. Yes, yes. Oh, and he's got. Oh, there it is. There's the year. I don't know if you guys can see that. You see that? I think it says Hoback Knives 2013. Hoback Knives 2013. He's got the axe on the grind. That is grail, folks. Grail, grail, grail. And, and then this was also an order that came up for me. This is the A15. I think I made a mistake saying this is the AD15. I'm thinking of like... Uh, you know I'm thinking of. But it's an A15. So this was a custom order too. Very medieval in design, I think. I think. Menevade has a smaller A8 that I love, which is also handmade by Jake. I love that A8. And I think Nick wanted to sell it to me at one point, but um, I, I didn't take him up on it. Anyway, folks, that's, uh, that's the small pelican. That's a small orange pelican. With the Eat Me sticker.
This is not from we. This is not from Rut's Hut. I forget the name of the hot dog joint, but it's a famous hot dog joint in New York that me and the bandit went to a few times. All right, all right, folks. Peace.